Alrighty, in today's video, I'm about to showcase you guys how to get a VPN for your PlayStation 5 and how to set it up onto your PlayStation 5. Now, this process is basically very simple and easy. Just follow this guy step by step, and I'm gonna showcase you guys how to do this. First things first, you guys are gonna need two things a PlayStation 5, obviously, and a VPN. For this video, I'm going to be using ExpressVPN. Um, Typically, you guys can use any VPN you want, but ExpressVPN is going to be the most effective one for this video. And also, I'm going to showcase you guys how to get your own custom DNS from Donnyu.com. And I'm going to showcase you guys right that right now. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Let's get it. Alrighty, so we're going to go to Danyu, Danyu.com. And when you get here, you're basically going to create an account. Um, when you create an account, you should leave, see on the top um, right corner around here where you can create an account. You're going to you're gonna see sign up and you're basically going to sign up for an account. And after that, you should have your username and password all set to go. They're going to ask you to verify your email, all that good stuff. And after you do that, you're gonna, they're going to prompt you to the control panel. Now, when you get to the control panel, um, you're going to go to D D D N S services. And then when you get here, you're going to go to the top, right? Add. And then when you get here, uh, I suggest you guys using option one. If you guys are familiar using creating a, your own DNS server, you're going to use option two, but I'm just a little rookie on this since I started using this a couple months ago. I say option one will be the safer one for brand new users. So I'm going to use option one. So I'm going to just call my DNS server this. Obviously, I'm going to have to cover it due to security purposes. But after you have your DNS, your own custom DNS set up, you're going to go to add. And after you add, you're going to see a lot of sensitive information. I'm going to block off real quick. So. When you, as you see, you see um, enable IPv6. Basically, gonna turn that off. You're gonna see um, a wildcard IPv4 alias. You're basically going to turn that off also. And IPv address, you're gonna turn that off again. So you're gonna turn off all three of these things and then after you do that you're gonna pre press save and basically you're all good to go so on to step number two all righty on to step number two now ne the next step is you're gonna go to whatever vpn you prefer which is nord or express it really doesn't matter to me as long as it has the step where you can go to your DNS settings. So when you're on express VPN, when you go to my account, you're basically going to log in. If you already have a login, if you guys don't have a login, sign up for an account, um, do that process throughout fully. And then after you got um, your account set up, you should basically have the option on express VPN. Let me go back real quick. I'm gonna blur a couple things out. When you get to this screen, the dashboard, and you go to DNS settings. Now, when you're on DNS settings, as you see right now, I'm on DNS settings. Um, I'm uh, basically gonna go down. And then you're gonna look for dynamic DNS registration. Now, if you guys picked option one, you should already know your login is going to be your host name dot either dynu or it's going to tell you something, something else dot com or dot org for option two is similar. Also, just put in the DNS you created and you're basically going to copy and paste it. After we got that set up, we are just gonna save the host name. And after you save the host name, you should see updated. And then after that, 
step two is completed and we're gonna go back to our PS5. So I see you guys there in a minute. Oh yeah, one more quick note that I forgot to tell you guys. Before you go back to your PS5, make sure you guys go back to the ExpressVPN a dashboard. And then when you get to the dashboard, you're going to go to see on the right side, set up your devices. You see, I'll connect up to five devices. You know, go to more. And then when you get here, you're gonna see a way you can basically set up your PlayStation 5. You're basically gonna get a code. And then how you get that code for your PlayStation is you're gonna go to the PlayStation. And then while you're here, it's gonna be very crucial to remember this code you're gonna see right here on the right side um, under the setup. Remember, you need to remember this code due to the fact that you're gonna put this code onto your PS5 when it's all said and done. So yeah, this step is very important. So make sure you guys do that. So yeah, after that, we're gonna go back to our PS5 and get this run it up. So I'll uh, see you guys in a sec. All right, now we're back on our PlayStation 5. First things first, we're gonna go to settings and we go to network. And we get to network, we're gonna go to set up internet connection. Now I'm using my LAN cable. So I'm gonna set that up real quick. Make a LAN number three. Now it's gonna take a while since I just created our own custom VPN. So it's gonna take a while for it to load up. All right, so it's finally connected. And then when it's finally connected, we're gonna go to advanced settings because we're gonna make our own custom DNS that ExpressVPN gave to us. And by default, all these things are good. The only thing we're changing is the DNS settings due to the fact that we have our own custom VPN as, our, as part of our DNS settings. Now do keep in mind, make sure ExpressVPN or whatever VPN service you're using is on while you're doing this. So go to automatic, I mean manual, manual, and then we're gonna type in the custom VPN code that we got for from ExpressVPN. I'm gonna type that in. Now do keep in mind the secondary code, you know, guys don't need to worry about that. You can leave it at zero, but the first code you guys have to put in. You can leave the second one blank, make it zero, zero. And after you do that, as I put in the code, obviously I have to block it off because it's our own custom VPN code. After I, I'm done with that, basically, I'm gonna test the internet connection. If it's good, I'm basically gonna reset it. And after that, <laughs> I should have my own. All right, after we got that connected, I'm gonna wait for it to connect real quick. All right, it's all good. After that, make sure you guys restart your PS5, after you start your PS5, this process is basically complete. You basically have your own custom VPN when you're playing games online or whenever you're on the PlayStation 5 networks. Yeah, the process is very simple and easy. Not too many steps, it's straight to the point. So yeah, that's basically about it. If you guys enjoy this video, find this video when you have full at all. Make sure you guys leave a like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new. I would greatly appreciate that. And I see you guys in the next one. Peace out.